Hi everybody, thanks for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. Today we're back in the studio. I'm going to show you how I made a primitive folk orc pig painting. Now even if you're not an artist, listen, this is just primitive stuff. So it's super easy if you want to trace a pig, if you want to trace any picture at all. I'll show you just the different techniques that I used. I am an artist, but listen, you guys can do this. I got the panels at the Dollar Tree. I think you can get three of them for a dollar, or maybe they're a dollar a piece. I think it was three at Walmart, but they end up being approximately a dollar a piece. You can make your own artwork, use the colors that you want. If you like brighter colors, that's fine. I did the folk art. I tried to uh, water mine down a lot to make it look older. And I'll just show you the techniques that I used. I did a voiceover through the painting. You guys can do this. Uh, this is one of my many primitive um, videos that I'm releasing, but I just wanted to let you know, I know I since the last video I released, the melting petals bouquet it's totally different from primitive folk art design i understand that there are two sides to me i love my bling i love my sparkle but i also love my primitive decor so there are two different sides it's melting petals line from my cranberry cornstalk company but i did release the video because i had a customer that was asking about seeing it it has a hefty price tag she wanted to see it on the video so I released that for her so that's a glitch for you primitive lovers we're back to primitive today and I'm going to show you how I did this primitive folk art now the thing about folk art painting it seems to be to keep it um, um, comical you have to kind of make the head of the animal whether it be a cow a pig a sheep whatever a little bit smaller and make the body a little bit bigger than normal so that's kind of a trick that I figured out after researching a lot of art. That's a really neat, I find it comical. I love that look. Um, something to hang up in your primitive decor. So that's what we're gonna do today. Thank you for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. If you've earned, if I've earned your subscription, if you like the video and you wanna see more, maybe I'll make a doll next time. Who knows what I'll get into, wherever my mind takes me, I'm so goofy. But um, this time we're gonna do primitive pig art and you can do this, find your own, uh, maybe an old picture with a frame, maybe a wooden frame that you like or some old frame, just insert this into that. You can even do it on paper. If you just wanna take photocopy paper out of the printer or just a piece of paper, whatever, steal it from your kids' art projects. Uh, paint this primitive folk art pig. It's super easy. I only used a couple of colors. I'll show you them in one of the clips and uh, You'll love it. So let's get started on my goofy next design. Okay guys, so first of all I started off with my paint. I have really old paint because I used to teach toll painting classes, but I don't believe in wasting so I just keep using it and uh, it actually adds texture. So what do you think? I don't know. I don't, I don't like the waste stuff. I did pick some of the bigger pieces out, but I don't mind having stuff on there that makes people guess how did she get that on there and it makes people question or maybe they like it, a new technique that we discovered by accident. As you can see here, I'm using a Wilton Cake icing decorator to make wigglies in the green paint. It makes it kind of look like grass. If you buy a paint one, they're about, oh, seven or eight dollars more. I just use a cake decorating one that I found for a dollar something at one of the craft stores in the, in the cake section. So just get your colors on there, what you want for your sky. I did a creamy color because I want some sunshine and a faded green for the grass for my little pig. Then you draw, when it dries, I use a hair dryer a lot too because I have no patience, but I drew my pig. Just keep drawing until you get the pig that you want or whatever critter you're drawing. Again, you keep the body big and the head small. That's just the character of the folk art critters that I've seen that I like the look of that keeps them kind of funny. So that's what I did. I kept working with my shape until I got this massive pig on these little legs and this tiny little head. I was pretty tickled with them. I wanted a black and white pig because I think they're cute. My son has, I and mean, daughter-in-law have a pink one, which I might do next. It's really cute as well. And that's the kind of pigs I grew up with. They were pink, but he's cute. Black and white, just continue to paint your base.
So that was the basic colors and here I'm going to add some Distress ink. Now I went back over it with some water on my brush just to blend it in. You could have to do that when it's still really wet or else it'll just give you the lines. And it depends on what look that you're wanting for your sky. I like mine more um, smeary and dark. I love the red um, ink that sprays on. I just love it. I did get some blotches. I, I tapped it out just a little to keep it from being... Uh, you know over overdone but I love the red ink along with the brown um, so that's what I did and I just continue to work with it till I get the look that I want and here he is Okay guys, that's it. That's all I have for the video of the pig painting. If you saw at the end of the video, I had some greeting cards on there. Some of my artwork that I'm dabbling in. Tell me what you think. Would you like to see greeting cards, notebooks, that type of thing? Would you like to see a t-shirt? I'm thinking about putting my art on some kind of other platform. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on um, some of the items that I have. I did do well with my greeting cards so far, but let me know your comments and don't forget if you haven't done so yet, please hit subscribe, like and share the video and it's very, very much appreciated. Take care guys, I'll see you next time on the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel.